Hi, my name is Albert and this is lesson number three in learning how to read rhythm. In the previous lessons we learned how to read crotchets, quavers and rests. Today we are going to work on minims. We will be having plenty of practice, but if you do need any extra, just write your own rhythmic patterns on a piece of paper, write a time signature at the beginning of the piece, 4-4, four, four. that's what we've been working on so far, um, 4 beats in a bar and all bars divided by bar lines and a double bar line at the end of the piece. This should be really fun and it's going to be really helpful for uh, you to have something new to practice on. Let's get to our lesson now. Here is the minim. It has a value of two beats. And when we are going to see it, we are going to say two. It's twice as long as a crotchet. And let's see what this looks like. So you can see we can fit two crotchets inside. And inside the crotchets we can fit two quavers. So the minim is twice as long as the crotchets and four times as long as the quavers. We are drawing the bar lines now. Um, we have six bars as we usually have and the double bar line at the end of the song. Uh, let's just go through it one more time. One thin bar, one thicker bar. That means that's the end of the song. This is the time signature for four. It means we have four beats in a bar. And let's not forget that the first beat in the bar is always the loudest. This means that it has an accent on it and it helps us keep a very steady beat and rhythm throughout the song. Ta, te, te, sh, ta, ta, te, te, tu, hu, tu, hu, ta, ta, te, 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 sh, ta, ta, te, te, tu, hu, ta, sh, tu, hu. Okay, your turn. Perfect. Well done. Let's do another one. Tu hu, tu hu, te te ta, te te ta, tu hu, ta, te te, te te ta. Tu hu, sh ta, sh ta, sh ta, tu hu. Your turn now. And we are going to do another one. Sh ta sh te te sh ta tu hu tu hu sh te te ta te te tu hu sh 
tu ta tu And now your turn. This one was a little bit difficult because um, the crochets next to the bar lines look like bar lines, so it was quite hard to uh, figure out which ones they were, crochets or bar lines. Let's do another one. And it's your turn. Now we're going to look in depth at how the beats are divided in the bars and how the minims are occupying two of those beats. I'm going to write the number of the beat and underneath you're going to see that minims are covering two of those beats. And oh oh, I forgot a bit here. Let's write it now. I'm going to make a rest. And because we are at the end of our lesson, I'm going to give you a little bit of a start and um, you know just to give you a little bit of support in writing your own rhythmic pattern so i'm going to write the first two bars and it's going to be up to you to continue the rest of the four bars or however long you want your piece to be with the rest of the rhythmic um, values just make sure you're counting and you've got only four beats in a bar not more Remember, two quavers are one bit, and a minim, um, a minim's value is of two bits. Thank you very much, and please subscribe and come back for lesson number four.